Why are we here today? <laughs> we're so dumb. Today we're going to be marking out where all of our fittings are going to go so that we make sure that we dig in the right place. And since we've never done plumbing before, what we're going to do is we're going to take all of our fittings and we're going to put them exactly where they need to go so that we can visualize it and mark everything. Because we're not going to guess on this. I'm guessing that real plumbers don't do it this way, Probably but not. we are not real plumbers. Welcome to the Tiny Shiny Homestead. Would you like to go on a date with me? Yes, please. Okay. Special drinks. Okay, that truck looks just like our truck. Did you almost go to and a different truck? It's really truck? weird. It's like a slightly different color, and it's also running. <laughs> Glad you didn't go in that one. <laughs> we have made it to the big city. The big city. So we are going to go look for, well, we have to pick up our last fittings for the house. our septic. Of yeah. Our many, 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 many fittings. Yes, but we also have to pick up a part for our secret project. Yes. And a few more tools. All the plumbing fittings are right here. We need to move them up there. Ready? You don't need any couplers. We're not actually gonna like dry fit all the long pipes. We're just gonna see where the fittings are gonna go. I think we should start the furthest end. We'll just work our way down to the septic tank. So. First thing we're doing that's not, wasn't really in any of the plans, clean outs, lots and lots of clean outs. We're actually gonna extend this septic line outside of the house and put a, a 90 clean out out here. So that's the first fit, that underground. We'll put a cap on it, that way we can clean out if we need to. Should we just set these out so we can see what we have better? That angle going into that 45 right there. We don't need no stinking diaphragm. Do we need our papers? Mm -hmm. Okay, go I'm gonna go get our papers. I think they're on the filing cabinet. Yeah, but that's here. not there. It's in between. It's in between. Well, where's the doorway? Here on the outside of the wall in the courtyard, we'll do another two way clean out so that we can clean back that way and we can clean down this way. And then you want to go to the kitchen next? Sure. We are going overboard on our clean out, just 100%. as preventative measures. So then you have... <laughs> it's really accurate though. I know, we're going to have to work on that. A two inch clean out before we go into the wall. Is that right? We need two two by two Ys and a 90 two inch sweep. All right, your drawing is totally different than my drawing, so I'm having a really hard time trying to figure out. All right, so this is the end of it. It just goes here and it goes straight up to the sink. The line is gonna be more like here. And then and you then, have your little And then sweep. you'll go like that. Okay. Yeah. know what we're doing. Main line goes to the sink. Four by three goes to the washer. Okay, so, so what about like that? That is so perfect. That's <laughs> exactly how I wanted that. So we just need to have this pointed towards the drain. And then P-trap. 
I don't need the pea trap. We never change anything. What did we change? Yeah, see, there's like, there's more things here I'm where it connects done. to the vent. Oh, okay, sorry. You're gonna have to help me decipher what I drew here. <laughs> Long sweep 90 for the vent for the shower and toilet, and then a long sweep 90 for the sink and washing machine. This, so we need another 90 a 92 here. inch. See, yeah, we got this. Don't you feel much more comfortable knowing what we're doing now? I'll be more comfortable once we go over it a few more times just to make sure. I don't really want to clean out on our entryway step. I think the clean out needs to be there. Then it's gonna go. Yeah, I can't have it on the porch, but it doesn't belong on the porch. So the the hard part we got to figure out is where that the sink line connects to the main line in the middle. We need to get that at the proper angle. We had it at like a 90 plus and that's not going to work. So we're going to use 245s, but we got to get that to match up just right. So that just means that the line under the kitchen sink needs to not be perpendicular to the wall. But I don't know. I'm not sure how to figure that out. So we do need to go to the hardware store and get some more blue paint we ran out so that we can remark our line that goes to all the sinks in the kitchen. Yeah. Don't want to use it's a different like, color. It's It'll only get like confusing. 30 feet. I know, but we got to mark all the other lines too. Yeah. So like. Okay. Yeah. I'll go get that and then we can finish. Dude. You cannot pee on the fittings. go wash it off. <laughs> Here you go. Hey friends, it's that time again. Jax has another set of hand-drawn greeting cards ready to go. He has a bunch done. They look so good. And we're so proud of him making his art and putting it out into the world. As always, you can grab your own custom set at tinyshinyhome.com slash cards. Now, let's get back to it. old enough to be limping around. Okay, listen. We're doing a four inch pipe trench, which means we need to dig it at least a foot wide so that we can get around and work on it. So I'm gonna put my six inch mark right in the middle of the blue line. You need to hit right here and it at a foot. And then you're gonna mark that distance on each side and we'll just keep marking them as we get down. Dots. Dots are good. Let's look at Jax's straight lines. Jax is so bad. Oh my gosh. What did you do? <laughs> Looks like a road. It doesn't though. Okay, we had to take a little break because it was really hot outside, but now we're back outside because you know what we're gonna do? We're going to break ground. What? It is about time. We have been waiting way too many months for this <sighs> moment. Good grief. We got it all locked in. All these fittings down here. We know where the trenches are gonna go. And that's the first step. So we're gonna get everybody out here. We're gonna have a little ceremony and we're gonna break ground on our house. Oh, 
Okay, this is it. Well, our loppers cut the ribbon. Probably not. Okay, let's try. try. All right, you guys ready? Yep. <laughs> nope. Ah! <laughs> I told you so. I have foretold the future. There's nothing quiet. Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, how are you supposed to cut it if it's on your head? It's comb for ribbon end. <laughs> okay, ready? Okay, just, no. Ready? Hold on. Hold on, we're going to put some epic music in here. Ready? Wait. Set. Bum, bum, bum. <sighs> Should it be slower? No, <laughs> just do it. <laughs> I was an expert. All right, music word. intensifies. Let's pop this, <laughs> these bottles and get partying. <laughs> that one's twist up. <laughs> Jet, let me see it. No, this one doesn't work. It doesn't work. They're, they're not enough left. Just try it. So what do you do? Keep your mouth on it. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. I'm gonna try it. I'll try it. Up high. Too bad. Yours is yours isn't full enough. It's too bad. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. Here we go. 